Peace. 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 This is Megan from the Temple of Hip Hop. And class is back in session. Our hip hop master classes are now open for enrollment from March to June in Newark, New Jersey, and Malibu, California. Receive your certified hip hop cultural specialist certificate from the Temple of Hip Hop. Learn from hip hop's first master teacher, KRS One. You can sign up and learn more about dates, tuition, and more at the Temple of Hip Hop.org. See you there. Yes, indeed, it is the Blastmaster KRS One, and welcome to the Temple of Hip Hop. We are here for another Sunday. Every Sunday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we get together like this to discuss another aspect of our culture. If you're on this call, this means that you are also studying to be a hip hop teacher yourself. You're studying to be, to realize yourself as a hip hop citizen. Uh, you're also looking to protect the culture. Uh, it's the real preservation of the culture itself is your attitude and your actions within it. So if you're on this call, you understand your role in hip hop's actual culture. People say all the time, uh, you know, hip hop is my culture or, you know, they refer to hip hop as culture. But you know, just 20 years ago, that was not the case. The way people speak about hip hop today is, is the deliberate work actually of several organizations, but the Temple of Hip Hop leads that. And, and, and I say this humbly, of course, but I say this in the sense that the importance of teachers is to move their communities forward, move the culture forward. It's not about bragging about what you did or, or, or what accolade you, you received or what achievement you, you, you received. These things come. As you do the work, uh, these things come. But the real preservation of, of any culture is its teachers. If you cannot uh, uh, transfer the best parts of your culture onto the next generation or on even to another person, then where is the preservation? Where is the lineage? Where is the, re the record, the record of your culture? Someone has to do this work that keeps a culture together, keeps the heritage together, uh, keeps the lineage going. So those that are on this call, you understand this. You understand that you're building heritage, you're, you're building legacy, building lineage, or keeping keeping the lineage together, I should say. Same thing with tradition. So here we are, and we're going over what is called the hip, the hip hop uh, divine performance, actually, I should say. I was referring to our third overstanding. In the gospel of hip hop, what is called the divine performance is our third overstanding. So, and of course, and I'm speaking to this for those that don't have the actual gospel of hip hop. I'm just explaining the language uh, real quick before we start. I got a show uh, uh, tonight, uh, and I'm getting ready to go run do, and do it. So I'm going to run off and, and, and go do that. I'm going to jump in and out uh, uh, with this lesson, as well as with uh, some of the performers. We'll give you a little bit of that as well. But this right here is about performing your intelligence. One of the divine performances is all about performing your intelligence. Uh, not just being intelligent or, 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 or uh, assuming that you are intelligent in that sense. Like, you know, people assume that to say you're intelligent or to come off like you're intelligent is, is to be knowledgeable about something or to have read books or, you know, you, you could quote this one or that one. Uh, all of this is sort of the cosmetics of intelligence. People tend to think intelligence has to do with book learning or um, being smart um, in, in that sense. Intelligence doesn't mean any of this. Intelligence, real intelligence, 
is about understanding. This is the key. It's about understanding. And the more you can understand, the more intelligent you are. That's what we're going to be talking about through this whole lesson that we got right now. Now, of course, today's read is short, like I was saying. Um, this read is short. Uh, those of you that have your, your gospel of hip-hop, you will see that the perform intelligence... Hold on. Yeah. That the perform intelligence piece is actually... Uh, is is actually um, short. <laughs> so as we gear up now, and uh, I'm gonna run off just like this. The way you see me right now, I'm gonna go rip this party uh, in a hot minute. And also, oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I even start with perform intelligence, wait a minute. Hold up. Before I even start, let me give you. Let me shout this out real quick. Because this week also, uh, we're on our way to California. Uh, repeat performance. The last tour we did was so phenomenal and so great that people have called us back to Cali, back to New Mexico, back to Texas, and, and now it's bigger audiences and, and it's, it's getting crazy. But I'm going out there as well to establish what's going to go on in August as well. <clears throat> members of the Temple of Hip Hop in Los Angeles have already started putting together a letter uh, to the mayor, uh, the, uh, the Los Angeles mayor um, office, uh, as well as Malibu's mayor, mayor's office, uh, and a few other people, like Fresno, California as well, Sacramento, California as well. You know, we're going to set up temples out there as well. So letters have gone out, uh, but most importantly, we want to come back around and do a um, do a um, a festival festival style concert at, toward the end of August out there in uh, Malibu, California. So <clears throat> not only are we going back for a whole host of other uh, concert dates, lecture dates, and so on, but we're also going to set up our deals for the future. And uh, this is a great time. Because now I'm able to give the Hip Hop Cultural Specialist Masterclass in California. This is going to be phenomenal. We're probably going to start, um, well, I don't know. I, I, like I said, we'll probably start at Gladstone's, end up, uh, Gladstone's Restaurant. Again, Temple members that have been studying with us for, for years, you know that we've stopped at Gladstone's Restaurant there in Malibu, uh, California. We've stopped there at Malibu, California a few times, uh, actually, and did lectures, did uh, uh, seminars. We DJed, they had parties, uh, and of course, our, our dinners and stuff like that. We've had, we'll probably start there uh, and, and, and so on, and then move on, uh, actually, from there. Um, that's the master class. The master class in California, now get this. The Masterclass in California is May 17th, 18th, 19th. Uh, well, well it's, it's, it's the 17th is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 17th, 18th, 19th, 2024. Um, uh, locations will be, um, <clears throat> location is to be announced. Location is to be announced. And... Um, uh, like I said, like I said, Gladstones may be one of the locations, nice teaching space, but we're going to have a teaching space in California, comfortable spot, food will be served as well. You know how we get down. Um, so if you want to register for the California course, if you're in Cali and want to register for the master class that is going down in California, uh, you can go to thetempleofhiphop.org and get that information right there. So just make sure, go to thetempleofhiphop.org and enroll right now. There's limited seating, limited space, so you want to get on this right away. So that's the Hip Hop Master Class in California. Now that's May, May 17th, 18th, 19th, 2024. But in June now, we're back on the East Coast. 
and we're, we're conducting our standard master class, which takes you to 1520 Sedgwick Avenue, birthplace of hip hop, and you wind up at the Temple of Hip Hop in Newark, New Jersey. So this is, um, this is, um, uh, well, well, actually, this is another amazing course because here we have an opportunity to actually, um, like for those of you, for instance, that would like to take the, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the California course, you could take the California course and then for half price come to New York and experience uh, 1520 and the actual temple of hip hop. This is about hip hop cultural specialists, about creating yourself to be a hip hop cultural specialist. And, and this is what's important. Um, this is what's important. If you're really about teaching hip hop, really about teaching it, then you're gonna have to be taught by real hip hop cultural specialists, not people who just jump up and say, oh, I'm a hip hop teacher and have no accreditations, mastered no elements, you know, N nothing. They just have. They have nothing. They just saying they're this, and we're supposed to just go ahead um, and and believe that. This is not what this is. Um, in actuality, <clears throat> excuse me, you're talking to uh, hip hop's first master teacher. You know, I say this all the time, but it's important because who you learn from is just as important as what you're learning. The institution that you learn within. It's just important as the knowledge is actually being given. People respond to authenticity. And that's what the Temple of Hip Hop offers. Authenticity, accuracy, and authority. So June 14th, 15th, 16th, 2024, we're in New York and New Jersey. Uh, we're teaching our master class there June 14th, 15th, and 16th, 2024. Uh, special guest appearances as well of other MCs, other teachers, DJs, graph writers, so on. You don't want to miss this. June 14th, 15th, 16th, three-day course, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, 2024. <clears throat> so um, that's the announcements. And, um, and again, like I say, you know, this course is authentic. There's nothing fake, phony about this. Uh, nothing second rate. This is the first class, uh, a first class um, course. And, and probably the first of its kind. Not even probably, it is the first of its kind. I say probably because big up to all teachers that teach hip hop in some way, shape, form, or fashion. We do appreciate it. But in 2024, it's time to legitimize yourself. It's time to speak that authentic cultural language that unites you with all the teachers, the authentic teachers of hip hop, the original teachers of hip hop. It's time to get authentic, uh, uh, to become authenticated uh, and, and really be that real hip hop teacher. So those are the master classes uh, and we're actually doing that. Speaking of a master class, like we said before, we're talking about intelligence. Intelligence. Now just before I get into this, let me give you a little sneak preview. Not even preview, sneak preview. Let's just cut to a break real quick. Let's take a quick break, and I'll be right back. I'm just going to give you a little piece. I'm running to the show right now. Here's a little piece of it. Yes, indeed. It's the Blastmaster KRS-One, and we are here once again. Welcome to the Temple of Hip Hop. I'm in Newark, New Jersey, the birthplace of Brick City, and, of course, Queen Latifah and Naughty by Nature and Funk Dr. Spock, Red Man, and everybody else outside is big up to you. Uh, and I'm just running down the list. Lord Finesse is out here as well. Nikki D, what's up with you? Rod Digger, what's up with you? What we're talking about today is intelligence. That's what we're dealing with, intelligence. And we're going to show you what that is right now. We really hood right now. I want to show you this dude. Turn around and get this dude coming in right now. Look at that shirt. He's the model. Oh, yeah, yeah. He is Keep the model. Kill. My oh, big no, homie, Blastmaster Kellers, one. is back in the Brick City. The pipeline to the child of the Listen, this is what the fuck it is. This is history right here. Right here. Trunks 
action, more action, floor cracking, more passion. Feed my people at raw rapping, house to house like I'm door dashing. Assassin, you asking, who is this? And I'm still laughing, forward thinking, never backtracking, boom bapping, never rap lacking. Got my people all up in the place, royalty with scar on their face. Chocolate rap, you can all get a taste. Architect, we built this place. Room, 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 time for the chase. Chase down traders, invading the space. Keeping in pace in a hole like an ace or an ace in a hole when I throw in the base. Race, no, you didn't really wanna race. Chase, no, you didn't really wanna chase. You don't wanna see me when I'm coming in a place. Lyric after lyric in your motherfucking face. God, let me scream out what happened to his face. My number say him, I chat on the bliss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. That was dope. Uh, and, and big up to Mook on that as well. Shout out to Mook on that as well. That was a good piece because what you really want is, is teachers that teach in real time. Teachers that when you know, you're learning from someone who is affecting the subject that they're actually teaching. They're affecting it. They're caused by the subject. They're engaged in the subject that we're teaching. What I'm showing is MCing, but as you know, the spirit is hip hop. Breaking MCing, graffiti art, DJing, beatboxing, street fashion, street language, street knowledge, and street entrepreneurialism. The more you understand that, the more intelligent you become in hip hop. Again, intelligence is not book knowledge. It's about what you can understand. How much do you understand? Can you, uh, what can you understand? What can you understand? And, and this is intelligence. Do you understand birds? You know, your dog, if you have a, if you're, if you have a dog, in general, a dog, you could be a cat or anything, but you know how intelligent this other being is. This being does things, dog. It, it responds, it barks, it, 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 uh, it smells the food and wants some. Uh, it gets your attention, it shows you things, it leads you to what it wants. This is all intelligence. And the intelligence is not just the dog or the being responding to you, it's you responding to the being as well. Uh, when the dog wants to go out and pee or whatever, they let you know that and you respond. Your response to a dog is a form of intelligence. It's a form of intelligence. And the more you understand that dog, the higher your intelligence goes. So the idea is to really try to understand a lot of things in nature because it expands your intelligence. The more you understand things, I understand what that is. I know what it is. Uh, you, that's expanding your intelligence. The ability to know, not what's known, but the ability to know. That's intelligence. So I got right now, we're up to the 13th performance of the gospel of hip hop. And here we go, perform intelligence. So our intelligence is creatively inquisitive. It is a period there. <laughs> our intelligence, meaning the hip hop intelligence, is, is our intelligence is creatively inquisitive, creatively seeking things out. Therefore, practice asking questions. Therefore, practice asking questions, especially about the things that you all are already familiar with. For it is the question that drives us toward our God. Not necessarily the acquired answer. Asking the right questions leads to spiritual awareness and peace. At the start of one's quest for spiritual awareness, Excuse me, y'all. One must ask the, the correct questions that will expand one's ability to acquire and apply correct spiritual knowledge. Let me hit you with that one more time. At the start of one's quest for spiritual awareness, one must ask the correct questions that will expand one's ability to acquire and apply correct spiritual knowledge or the answers. We must question God 
to know more about God. Now that's different from what others are saying about just believe and so on. And, you know, we're not knocking nothing, but this is a difference. We're showing a, a difference here. Okay. We must question God to know more about God at the beginning of your spiritual life. Now toward the I don't say the end, but when you become a little more seasoned, you know that there's no need to question God in that sense. You're being led now. You're being guided by a force that you're, you're intimately familiar with. Your intelligence is communicating with this, this other intelligence. Not even other. It's a higher version of, of your own intelligence. God. Uh, and so we must question this intelligence, to know more about this intelligence, this divine knowing or awareness, understanding. For it is indeed true that your God will answer all of your questions with astonishing accuracy. The hip hopper uses faith to see what is not yet physically there and uses action to bring those things into existence. Intelligence, the ability to know and perceive, questions the two. Be careful. Question God, but never doubt God. Just as our faith sees and confirms what is not yet physically possible, our intelligence must ask questions concerning the possibilities of what is perceived to be possible. But do not allow the performance of your intelligence to override your faith. For we are guided by the questions we ask, not necessarily by the answers we get. But once our intelligence has given, has given its performance, it must be put back in its place, in the dimension of question, perception, logic, and rationale. This is, this is what it means to perform your intelligence. Do not allow your intelligence to just rule over your life. Apply its sharp inquiry and sense of perception when, when necessary to shape the reality that you truly desire. We hip hoppers should pay more attention to how we view the world because the solutions for many of society's ills lie inside of us. Hip hoppers must question the so-called facts of the physical world, but after gaining an awareness of one's spiritual nature, question not, only believe the truth of one's spirit. As Colton reminds us, quote, doubt is the vestibule which all must pass before they can enter the temple of wisdom, end quote. Perform intelligence. Now see, this, this is, this, well, that's the end of the read. Intelligence was quick. <laughs> because the truth gets right to the point. And there's a few pieces that I want to pull out here. We started by saying intelligence is creatively inquisitive. That's a piece of intelligence. We went on. Intelligence asks questions. Okay? The ability to ask the right questions. That's intelligence. Intelligence uh, also, um, your, intellig your, your ability to know is connected to nature's ability to know. The ability to know is is in dogs, cats, birds, in all living beings, even in insects. You see a, a ant, for instance, walking. If you put your finger in front of the ant, it may run. That's intelligence. It knows. It, it don't know what this is. It might be danger. Decisions are being made. And then the movement. These are all the ways in which we're approaching intelligence. We also gave a warning here about not letting intelligence rule your life. Sometimes you have to make a way, and that's where faith comes in. That's also where visualization comes in, affirmation comes in. 
And then, of course, it says perform your faith. I'm sorry, perform your intelligence. Don't let it rule over you. That's, that was the point. Right? Don't let it rule over you. Perform it. Apply it. But live in the spirit. Live in, the, live in, the, live in a realm where you know all things are possible. Where, where you know this. It's part of your being that all things are possible. And how can that be part of your being? Because it is the truth. Like it's not just a slogan to say. It, it is the truth that all things are possible. I mean, I saw a, a, a saying um, the other day which said, um, uh, impossible. Even the word impossible says I'm possible. <laughs> it was cute. But the point is, is that, is that there really is only creation because even destruction must be created. Everything is further creating. Everything is changing and transforming into more things and beautiful things. Some things are multiplying themselves, but everything is growing for you to understand that raises your intelligence. The intellig applying your intelligence to the intelligence of nature expands your intelligence. Because you got to understand how a spider thinks, how a, how a deer thinks, uh, how a bird thinks, a lion, a, a dog, a cat. I mean, think about how many beings, if you can communicate with these beings, how large your intelligence, your ability to understand other things is. So this is intelligence and we should apply it. We should, we should apply the intelligence to things that we don't like, to things that may seem uncomfortable to us, to things that are not like us, different from your personal character or so on. You may want to uh, apply your intelligence and and make yourself understand, you know, because if something is actually happening or if it's a reality, it is in reality. It's happening. It's a fact. This is what it is. Criticizing it is not intelligent. It's just not. It's not the definition of intelligence. Criticizing it is just more of a personal judgment of a situation. But intelligence, or to apply your intelligence to a situation that you might not understand, see, or not like, to apply your intelligence is to make yourself understand it. And even if you want to go deeper, like it. You could always dash out. You could always, you know, for a minute, put yourself in that situation. And, and this is a skill too, by the way, because it's not like I like the situation, but are you comfortable with yourself enough to walk in somebody else's shoes, to try to see the world from somebody else's perspective and seriously try to do that? That's an act of expanding your intelligence. Not just getting, you're not just getting smarter. Your ability to know things is expanding. And, and that's what we want to hone in on this lesson. That intelligence is all about what you can understand. It's all about comprehension. So the more things you can comprehend, the more, the more vast your intelligence the least, the less things you stuck in one box thinking only you and the world is the way you see it and you just stuck with your grade school education, that intelligence is small. It's limited to just its own reality. And that's not intelligence. Or I should say this, that is intelligence. It's not an expanded intelligence. It's a very limited uh, intelligence. So... Let me um, conclude uh, and say again, thank you for listening. This is the Temple of Hip Hop. We are a, a hip hop preservation ministry, archive, school, and society. You can always go to thetempleofhiphop.org. Like I said, there's a bunch of information there, but you can also register for our May and June 
hip hop cultural specialist masterclasses. I'll see you guys in class. Thanks again.